Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I could only- I- <gasps> What is he doing? Yo, right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a little banger by the name of the Kingdom of the End, the Witch of the Beginning. Now, this is going to be an action RPG that might surprise a lot of you, to be honest. Now, because we have Witch in the title, I would say, comparison-wise, if you recall either my video on the full release or you're familiar with the game yourself, Little Witch No Better, I would say this is kind of along those lines, basically action RPG. I wouldn't go as far as saying this is refined as Little Witch No Better. However, this is also a $9.99 game on Steam. But even at that price value, based on what I've seen in the trailer and everything, looks very, very, very polished. And the publisher is even kind enough to offer a patch for those of you purists that don't want your games censored. How nice of them. Okay, so we're in uh, Res Valley. Now that's a good game too. Speaking of games. Oh, I wasn't aware of those voice acting. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, before I got this for us and decided to make a video on it, I did my research, obviously, as I normally try to do. There's a couple of things that you will note. Um, first and foremost, the game is locked at 30 frames, so there's a way to get around that. You could find a guide on that in the Steam forums, but I absolutely implore you to do so because 30 frames on this one? No, 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 you gotta, you gotta do 60 at least for a fact. The other thing I heard about is the controls are a little bit wonky, so I will find that out right now. We could also just walk if we want to. Dodge is Q. Okay, maybe that's what they were talking about. Q to dodge is a little bit weird, but, uh, I mean, how do, how the hell do I dodge? Oh man, I gotta use, like, <laughs> I gotta claw my keyboard to dodge in this direction. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, goblins, of course. Can't imagine us, uh, anything happening to us if we were to lose the goblins. Skills and attacks. Okay. Flame on! Oh, <laughs> he's gonna stand there while I flame on? Ooh, it's got a little bit of AoE as well. Oh, 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 goblin there hiding. These guys, uh, I'm not sure because it's a tutorial, but they're fairly passive. Let's get some attacks in here if we can. Look, at some point you're gonna have to tell me how to lock on, right, game? I can't just shoot fireballs into the ether and hope for the best, right? Rock on! <laughs> I mean, <gasps> instead of locking on, we rock on. Man, that's awesome. Let's run around him. Give him with the old fire. And once again, you just recover with, uh, R. Yeah, it just doesn't seem, like, you know, viable. I mean, I guess... If you'd have to find like a way to like, you know, eventually get some recovery, like maybe a very aggressive enemy. But at least these guys here are just kind of like, you know, go ahead, do what you want. Except this guy who hits me with a shield. But the easier solution is to just spam him with fire buffs and then hit R afterwards. Okay, what do we have here? Rest and strong enemies. Recovered at the bonfire. Oh, it's like Dark Souls. <laughs> Imagine that. So we have a boss fight over there, what you're telling me. It's coming like our, our fog gate. Why? Well, I guess we're recovered. We only have one spell right now, unfortunately, online. Oh, okay. Tutorial boss fight, huh? It's a big dude. It's like a dwarf. So we got goblins, we got dwarves. This is like a Japanese fantasy game. What gave it away, Falcon the Witches? I, I guess so. Uh-huh. You saw him in the wanted uh, That's his name? Dwight the Crusher? It's an interesting name for a dwarf, you know? Never really imagined, you know, Dwight the Dwarf. こんな戦場の片隅に帝国の将軍がいるなんて何か重要なものでもあるのかなうーん、さっぱりわからないわね。まあいいわ。意味のわからない罠をかける理由もないだろうし、帝国の将軍を手土産にできるチャンスね。
Okay. Let me let me rock on. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Oh, oh, he's rocking on himself. Okay. That's what I meant about more aggressive enemies, I suppose, right? And he does have a couple of boys with him. Let's see about getting rid of the ads first. Up, up, up. Oh, he didn't get me with the shield this time. Alright, one boy down. Let's see about me over here, dodging away. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm actually quite surprised about this. I was not expecting at least this level of polish. Like, other than the weird, you know, dodging. It's not too bad in terms of the response and the controls. The AI for the enemies seems a little bit dorky. Like, this guy's over here getting apparently stuck over here. Like, Dwight, you might want to put a little bit more pep in your step if you plan to defeat me, my friend. Oh, 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 don't let him do that. We should indeed find out what happens if I was to lose to this fella. Give me a second. Okay, so uh, bad things indeed happened. So how about we end this fight now, in a fancy way. Apparently I have a special skill. When my CP is maxed. And the way to trigger that is uh, the Enter key, which is again another weird choice in keyboard schematics. And the problem is, in case you're wondering, there's no rebinding, so you're, you're stuck. You're married to dodging with Q and triggering the special of yours with the Enter key. So it's, just, it's a really interesting, weird layout. なかなかやるけど、私の敵じゃないわね。母さんに散々鍛えられたんだから。うん。ストレンディは。さてと、何かあったら嫌だし、さっさと撤収しちゃいましょう。うん。あれが不連か。驚きました。ドワイト将軍
Okay, so we are back in Lindenhart now, whatever it's called. But I guess you guys can see what I'm saying about the level of polish, right? Like, we have voice acting, we have cutscenes, we got fairly decent animations, we have lore, story and everything. So, I mean, for this type of game, it's, it's quite surprising to be honest with you. So here is where you will be able to replay certain scenes, you know, if you were to, you know, happen to lose or something like that. I believe this is to redo missions in case you want to farm some goods, some items for crafting. Here you could actually even go into buying costumes for your character. So there's two apparently to be acquired, and we also at the moment already have the schoolgirl outfit one, and apparently Frayne showing off for patriotism here with this one. So, let's go and do a mission now that all the tutorial stuff's out of the way. I am indeed ready. Daijubo is correct. Mincia Forest, got it. Oh, those monsters. So it could be bandits. So it could be bandits. Something other than humans. Uh oh. Goblin Slayer. Sateto. Yeah, we just burn it to a crisp. Cool. Alrighty. So, let's see what we got here. Oh. Thought I saw a slime all the way back there, but it was actually just a bush. And then these guys just apparently popped into my cone of vision. Let's go ahead and rock on. Wait, what is it now? The transparent wall appears during the game, and Chapman will stop the player from advancing. Yeah, yes, it's like an invisible wall. You can't proceed until you destroy the enemies, type of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, you guys are gonna be sturdy now, are you? Well, I mean, as long as you hang out over there, it's fine for me. Let's me recover, and not have to deal with you too much. So you see how, theoretically speaking, yes, I could go over there and engage him and try to dodge his attacks like I did right there, but like, it, it just at the same time seems like... If they didn't let me pelt him with magic balls from far, far away, why would I... why would I do it? Why would I? Like, see, this guy doesn't have a shield. Well, he does, but oh my god. Poor goblin. I apparently sent this man literally to the heavens above. Okay, this might be a bit more difficult. Or not. Oh, I got this one all the way in the back without even aiming. Your magic is so strong. I mean, you are a witch. I guess that probably makes sense. Unyielding Reinhardt soldiers. Why are their name in red? Am I supposed to be worried about this or what? Enemies with nicknames. Oh, okay. Enemies with nicknames are encountered randomly during the game. These enemies are stronger than normal enemies and have attributes modifiers based on their names. In addition, defeating the type of enemy will enable you to get more experience than defeating normal ones. So you can get run away if you can't win, huh? Okay. Well, let's see if I can't just do what I've done with everybody else so far and just spam them with fireballs. I will meticulously move forward and then stop in my tracks. I mean, that's not gonna get it done, my friend. He is fairly sturdy, but he did die still. 15 experience compared to 65. Oh. Okay. It would be nice if the enemies did, uh. Oh. Stop it. If the enemies did show up, like, you know, when they're not literally in front of you, if you're just running forward. These guys are like one attacker, though, so... No need for that. Some soldiers over there. I don't even aware that I'm here. I don't think they are. There's a chest. Oh, god, they're away. They're away. Archers. Okay, finally. <laughs> there we go, now we finally have a fight. It took range boys to give me a fight. Moving? However, it takes them forever to reload. And you know what? For rangers, these guys are fairly sturdy. 
However, one thing I don't like is that they just hang out there. <laughs> Otherwise, like, you know, instead of, like, pulling out a sword to try attack you, it's kind of like, nope, I gotta, I must recharge this arrow. In the meantime, I will just stand here and let you strike away at me. So I guess that's one of the shortcomings when I talk about the polish of this game. Yeah, there's a lot of it that's actually fairly impressive, but obviously they're not, they're not gonna get everything right. I'd love... Oh, we got him all the way back there. Not that I'm actually aiming it, I'm trying to get rid of these, um... Oh, yo! Did one of them actually eat the, the arrow form? I like it when enemies can take damage from their own projectiles. Let's see if we can line it up, hold up. Oh, now we killed this guy. Yo, yo, shoot. Shoot at me. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh-oh. We have, apparently, the, the head of the mosquitoes. Let's see what he has to say about this. He's gonna have a lot of HP, is he? I mean, normally, you could just melee the mosquitoes. This is apparently rocking onto them, as the game calls it. Kind of annoying. Oh, we might have a boss fight over there too. Okay, let me take care of. Uh, God damn it. God damn it. Why? <laughs> oh, you got a little bit more HP than usual too. Wow. Sturdy goblin. Okay. So, bonfire. Cover everything. And now we have a boss fight. I wonder what happens if I shoot this skull. <laughs> Nothing, because apparently I can't even hit it. Yo, recover me again. Okay. Let's see... Oh, that's a lot of blood there. Oh, no. Oh, no, I could only... I, <gasps> what is he doing? Shooting poison? I could only... I could already imagine the type of game over here. Well, uh, we must do we must do our due diligence, right? Go ahead, buddy. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see here. We have to defeat the Lord of Mutation. Now, luckily for us, the Lord of Mutation is uh, getting wow ow. <laughs> he was getting wrecked. So I didn't notice that poisoned cloud under me. There, just move. I mean, basically, one MP bar took away half of his HP. I still haven't even used my strong attack either. Okay. I think he's ready. <gasps> Wait, what happened? <laughs> the special did nothing. I'm not sure if he interrupted me. I guess he interrupted me. You'd, you'd imagine you get, like, some sort of, like, you know, temporary, like, you know, immunity. Some iframes, as people love to call them. Get in for some melee, I guess. Feels kind of dangerous, but... But it's fine. The Lord of Mutation has fallen. Oh, suddenly you have no voice acting? Now the merchant skill can deliver the goods smoothly. Look around again, and then retreat. これで後々計画の邪魔になりそうなものは排除できたな。フレンの方は大丈夫だろうか。いや、この程度で終わってしまうようなら、それはそれで良いのかもな。俺もそろそろ覚悟を決めないとな。くじけるなよ。報告、民視野の森に巨大なヘビがいたわ。いや、で。まあ、簡単な調査だったから、ついで肉女しといたわ。あら、ありがとう。やっぱりそっちもそうだったんだ。そっちも森の奥にもヘビが5匹いたな。
あらあら相変わらず二人とも仲良さそうねうん、そういうこと。ライバルとは、そう見えるリンデのメガネって何のためにかけてるのかしらねお前がバカなことをしないか見張るためだろうな。あと、リンデは上司だ。もう少し口の聞き方をわきまえたらどうだはいはい、いちいちうるさいよ。やんなっちゃうわ。二人とも、仲いいのはいいけど、あんまり立ち話してないで。休憩でもしてきたらどう次の仕事までもう少し時間がありそうだからさはあ分かったわお言葉に甘えさせてもらって私は先に休ませてもらうわ Alright everybody that's said and done let's go ahead and wrap it up here for this one I hope you have enjoyed as I've mentioned for a $10 game Surprisingly, very polished. Are、uh, there a couple of issues here and there? Yes, obviously. I think we noted them as we were going through the video here. But again, 10 bucks. Not a bad deal, I would say, for a fairly responsive game that, you know, shows a lot more than I really thought it actually would. In case you'd like to see what didn't make this video, check over on the old Falcon Patreon for that. Not only do I have、uh, cutscenes from videos from YouTube, but I also got exclusive Let's Play series over there. Matter of fact, we just recently started a Let's Play on Third Crisis. Check out the link in the description in case you want to follow up on that. I'll catch you next time.